Hello wonderful viewer, this is Anton and welcome to What The Math. This is going to be a video about a very recent discovery from I think it was March 4th of 2016 where a team using Hubble telescope, the beautiful telescope that orbits around our beautiful planet and is looking at all of these really cool planets and stars out there, it was actually able to discover something really unusual and specifically here they basically, and by they I mean the team who was using the, um, uh, the telescope, was able to push the telescope to the limit and discover uh, the farthest or the most distant galaxy we have ever seen. This galaxy has been uh, named GNZ11 and it actually represents an image that is something like 13.4 billion years old. Now that's just 400 million uh, years after the Big Bang, so it's actually showing us the universe when it was very, 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 very young. Uh, just to give you a comparison, let's just say if I am just over 30 years old, it's, it would show an image when I was just a year old, so it's about 3% of the actual age of the universe. And the reason why we know it's so old and that this galaxy is actually really, really far away from us is of, because of something called redshift. Now, redshift is a concept I've tried to explain in previous videos where basically if something is moving away from us and if something is moving away from us really fast and is also very, very far away from us, it will create um, uh, something called redshift where the entire spectrum of light gets stretched out into toward red color and here the redshift that we're talking about is equivalent to about 11.1 .1, which is actually one of the highest if not the highest redshifts we've ever detected and if you go to a website called um, wolf from alpha and you type in uh, cosmological redshift 11.1 .1, this is what it will actually give you it will tell you that this uh, image is about 13.3 billion years old and it's about 32.3 billion light years away from us. Now that's actually really, really, really far away. Uh, in other words, it's something that's actually beyond our reach. We, we can never actually reach that far. Even if we fly in the fastest spaceship, we'll never be able to get there. Now, interestingly, this is also kind of beyond the actual theoretical size of the universe. Now, if you think about it, um, and if you actually try to reach the end of the universe in space engine, it's somewhere around 14 billion um, light years away from the center of the Milky Way. And that's because there's something called the visible limit of the universe. Now, that doesn't mean that that's where the universe ends. That just means that this is actually the part of the universe that we can see. But there is more of the universe after that. And this universe will never be visible to us because it's actually receding away or moving away from us faster than the speed of light. And that's because of the way that the space itself stretches. This is something that Einstein tried to show us with his amazing theories uh, on general relativity where he basically talks about how space is actually a kind of an expandable and foldable and maneuverable um, thing that is actually called space-time and we can actually uh, manipulate it if we put uh, a large enough mass um, in the center of it. And a person by the name Hubble was even able to estimate how fast the universe actually expands away from us. Now, so this particular galaxy is moving away from us and it's uh, basically at a distance of about 32.3 billion light years. That's ridiculously far away. And just to give you an idea, this is what actually it looks like in Space Engine. You can really not see anything. It's complete darkness there because that's basically where most of the galaxies are be already invisible to us. We will never be able to see them ever again. Even though earlier on when the universe was still younger, we, we could actually see all of these galaxies. But unfortunately, they have receded to the part of the universe that is expanding faster than the speed of light. So we'll never be able to see them. But let's actually talk a little bit more about this particular galaxy that we've discovered. So it's um, it's a little bit smaller than the Milky Way. It's about 25 times smaller and it also has just 1% of the mass of the Milky Way. But um, even in that particular galaxy, we can already see developing stars. You can see um, supernovas. And one of the reasons it's, uh, it's visible to us is because it's so bright. It means that it had a lot of really early um, star activity, which also means that there were very likely to planets around uh, those stars. And for all we know, maybe one of them was actually a terrestrial planet. And because this galaxy is so old and because the possibility of having a terrestrial planet in a galaxy somewhere far away is actually quite high, 
it also suggests that maybe, just maybe, there was even a life back then. So maybe 400 uh, million years after the Big Bang, there already was life somewhere in the universe. And obviously this is just a speculation, we may never be even able to prove any of this, but because there are stars, and you know, because there are possibly planets around those stars, the chances are actually quite high that there was somewhere out there a galaxy with life, and possibly even an intelligent life that was already thriving in a galaxy really, really far away a long, long time ago, just like in Star Wars. But what's more, even more interesting is that we actually do have another telescope that's going to be launched into space very soon, and not really soon, but in 2018, there's actually a telescope called James Webb Space Telescope that will be a lot more powerful than Hubble and will be actually able to see a lot more of these galaxies that will hopefully one day be able to see in a lot more detail so we can kind of possibly even detect something from them, maybe even some sort of a signal. But also, for all we know, maybe this galaxy doesn't actually exist anymore because this image is actually 13.4 billion years old. For all we know, this galaxy was already absorbed by a much larger galaxy or maybe it actually lived out its days and is just a big black hole by now. And because its stars were so bright and were actually able to produce so much light, maybe, just maybe, all of these stars have already been extinguished and don't actually produce any more light anymore. But I guess the important part from all of this is that even 400 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still very young, there were already were functioning galaxies that actually were very similar in appearance and in structure to the galaxies that, that we see today and that we actually have today. And although we we're probably never actually going to visit any of these really, really far away galaxies, it's just interesting to see how the universe actually looked and what it was it was like when it was still very young and when our galaxy Milky Way was not possibly even around yet. Because from what we actually know about our galaxy, it is only about 13.2 billion years old, meaning that it was very likely produced something like 200 or 300 million uh, years after this galaxy that we see right here. So this is technically our bigger brother, or possibly sister. And I guess the takeaway message from all of this is that, well, first of all, Hubble telescope can actually see a lot more than we actually imagined. And second of all, the next telescope called James Webb Space Telescope will be able to discover a lot more dimmer, a lot more cooler, and a lot more beautiful galaxies out there, and possibly even find a new home for our species and for the human race. Because, I mean, this is what it's all about, right? The reason we were using these telescopes and the reason we're trying to learn so much about space is because we are actually trying to find another planet to call home and possibly even colonize the entire galaxy one day. And so hopefully one day in the future, we might be able to actually create the universe that we see in a lot of science fiction movies like Star Trek, where we are actually a spacefaring race that is able to visit other planets, visit other stars and explore the galaxy and also the rest of the universe. But anyway, more about this in future videos. I hope you enjoyed this little video about the quite exciting news about this really, really young, really, really far away galaxy that we were actually able to discover using Hubble telescope. And hopefully now you know a little bit more about space, universe, and everything else. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Game you later, guys, and bye-bye.